Defence is providing support to the aged care sector um, as a result of a request for support from the Emergency Management Australia on the 4th of February, where we were asked to consider how we could support the Department of Health in their efforts in the aged care sector. The training provided to our defence people uh, will prepare them for the environment that they're going into. So there'll be uh, uh, induction training as each person comes into the, the task force around what to expect and then some more general COVID safety uh, induction training as well. So I expect that our people will be involved in providing direct support, clinical support to members of the aged care community and also providing general duty support in transport and other tasks. I am honestly a bit nervous. Um, uh, we don't quite know what to expect, but I think if we all work through this together, it doesn't matter what we're going through, we can all do it together. To be able to support the community uh, is one of the things that uh, I think all Defence people enjoy. Uh, we get a lot of uh, a sense of value and pride out of it. I'm really happy to be part of the planning team uh, that supports the health response to COVID. Um, Defence doing its bit to support the community as it has in so many ways. It's very important at the moment to make sure that we provide support to our aged care community, to protect them against the further spread of the disease, but also to make sure that they've got the proper care and support that they need. Today we've had a little bit of an introduction to some of the conditions that we may be exposed to and what comorbidities some of these patients may have that make them a more vulnerable population. We have also been taught about PPE and how to protect ourselves and each other in this operation, make sure that we maintain good morale throughout. Yeah, look, it's outside my normal mustering as a network technician, um, but look, that's why we signed up on the dotted line to assist the public um, when we're required. What we've been able to do at the moment the scale and the pace at which we've been able to move is an ex excellent example of defence of the ADF in motion and it speaks volumes uh, of our people and their, their willingness, their preparedness to work with their communities.